Now, the African Union needs at least $160 million a year to carry out its projects and activities. But almost 70% of this money comes from donors and funders abroad. The AU has been working towards financial independence by sourcing money on the continent. The man in charge of this task is former African Development Bank President Donald Kabaruka. He speaks to CCTV Africa about his plans to finance the AU. The decision in Johannesburg in 2015 to fund at least 100% uh, of the uh, regular budget, which is about $160 million, and then to fund three quarters of the programs, which is about uh, $300 million, and then a quarter of the peace uh, support operations was a remarkable decision. In Kigali, we gave it meat. Now, uh, Minister of Finance are meeting here on September 16th, they'll go through what it takes at national, at regional level. They'll go through what it takes in terms of uh, uh, transitioning mechanisms, because countries have different financial years. The AU now requires to sit down and figure out what are the priorities, how to implement them, uh, now that they have the means uh, of liberating the continent, phase three, I can call it, because having the means is only a part of the liberation. 